Never seen a oh, but here comes the Turkish night, his sermons are hell night. He's determined that on this day St. George will surely die. They fight and the valley is in the final round. St. George is betrayed and soon lies bleeding on the ground. All in the winter time, we fell as meeting cheer for the play and the song and the tankard of good beer. It's all in the winter time, we fell as meet again. Now we'll tell you about our merry guys in men. Level edge reminds us that his wit is very small, but his mischief is great, though he isn't very tall. And here's an old mother who's afraid her son is slain. She's needing a doctor to bring him back again. The poor one here is the doctor with his coat and bag and hat. He's got potions and secrets we can only wonder at. And calling Jack Finney, he's as strong as any man. If anyone can save St George, we know Jack Finney can. And it's all in the winter time. We fell asleep to cheer for the play and the song and the tankard of good beer. It's all in the winter time. We fell asleep again. Now we'll tell you about our merry rising man. Finally, Beelzebub brings on his dripping pan to collect from the audience as much as he can. Oh, we're the jolly geysers and we visit you today. So wish you season's greetings and to offer you our play. Good neighbours, lend ear, and your play you shall hear, our play you shall hear. In comes I, old Father Christmas, Christmas or Christmas not. I hope old Father Christmas will never be forgot, for Christmas comes but once, once a year, and then we always have good cheer. With plum puddings, cakes, and mince pies. And who likes them better than George and I? In I've come with my busy broom to clear the way and make some room. For we've players here with words to say. So step in, St. George, without delay. I am St. George. Midsummer's night, never beaten in a fight. I fought against the Moors in Spain and won myself renown and fame. And a wicked dragon I did slaughter. Whoa. <laughs> and won the King of Egypt's daughter. And had 20,000 pounds in hand. I am the bravest in the land. in a fight, you can boo and piss your fill, but no man here can match my skill. What was I who fought that dragon fierce, and her scaly armour fierce? Oh no you didn't. Oh yes I did. Oh, oh no, no you, you didn't. Did. Oh yes I did. Oh yes oh, you did. did. Oh no I didn't. <laughs> 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 St. George, you are a bragging liar. Of your boasting will you never tire? What is you that has the lying tongue and breath that smells like horses' dung? <laughs> Lying's your default position. 
You're almost as bad as a politician or a journalist or banker. <laughs> you! Do I detect a bit of rancor? You'd better shut your vow and leave before I give you cause to grieve. I'll stand my ground against any man and make him rue. I never ran. Why, I'll make you bleed, you even dog. I'll carve your carcass like a hog. Oh, I've got a head of iron. Mm, pig a iron. Body of steel. Hands and feet of knuckle bone. I challenge you. Yield. What? Yield to you, you even cur? For mercy, you will come. Yeah. I think there's going to be a fight. <laughs> well, one of these will fall. <laughs> now I want a good, clean fight. No butting, no gouging, and no biting. Back to your corners. Come on, George. On the sound of the bell, come out fighting. Yeah. Come on, George. In comes I, as I have been hit, with a great big head of a little wit. My head is large, but my wits are small. But I am the finest man of all, of all those here. I am the best. I've taken eggs from a mouse's nest. I've heard a daddy long legs screech. And I've counted the sand. Do you like the sound effects? <laughs> Upon the beach, a cockerel's milk, it is my drink. And I laugh to see a dead man blink. But now I think on a mischief I will away. So step in, strange old mother. Oh, there he is. Without <laughs> <laughs> oh, sunny state! Oh, oh. Oh. Alas, alack! Is there a doctor at the back? I'll give five pounds for a good doctor. There's no doctor! <laughs> I'll give for a good doctor. Still no doctor. There's not one here. How about a million billion trillion euros? Oh, hello, master. <laughs> I am a doctor full of garlic and pepperoni. Just saved Italy from Silvio Berlusconi. So <laughs> <laughs> tell me, doctor, what can you cure? I can cure everything at all. Everything at all. I can cure the ipsy Pipsy. and the pipsy Pipsy. and the palsy and the gout. gout. The pains within and the pains without. Toothache, backache, it's all the same. I can even make a whole man lame. Well, tell me, Doctor, how did you learn your knowledge? By my travels. Tell us, tell us, tell us again. Where have you been, Doctor? I have been the whole world over. The whole world. I have seen the mysterious, mellifluous, magical mysteries of the Orient. The Orient. Yes. I've been to Luton. Luton? <laughs> Last night in Dunstable. Yes, indeed. But then Clay. We're probably on the way. service station. We, we did. Yeah. We were. We, obviously, we, we actually were. We were, man. Oh, we were. It's a song. It's good. Lord. So I've literally break. eaten bread. Yeah. Yes. Wellington. Wellington and Shillington. <laughs> and Stevenage Newtown. Stevenage Newtown. <laughs> But now I've come at some bulldocking civilization. <laughs> Tell me, Doctor, can you cure my son? Oh, I don't know. What's wrong with him? <laughs> we all know what's wrong with him. He seems to be a little under the weather. <laughs> That's all very well, but I can uh, I can cure lumps and bumps and measles and bumps and women with bits of bonnet. Oh, lots of oil. Oh, lots of oil. They only volunteers. I can fit a coil. Almost painless. Fit a coil. 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 I think this man needs an examination. I think he does. He looks in need of a pulse being taken. Not quite sure where it's going to go to. <sighs> now. No, that wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Is that how many legs has this man got? He's got two. And that's the second of them. That's, Ooh, that's ah. both of them. So he's got two legs. Two legs. Two and legs. Will he? Will he be all right, Doctor? But thank God, in this real ale pub, I have a bottle of Ellie Campaign. Ellie Campaign, marvellous. Find this draft Ellie Campaign all the way from Gloucestershire. A spot on his tongue. On his tongue. A spot. 
On his toe. On his toe. It'll be right as rain. Right as rain. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Always works. <sighs> yes. Well then, Doctor. Now it's plain. Your potion is weak. And so is your brain. You really don't deserve your fee. Here at the Bulldog, Orange Tree. Aha! <laughs> 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 There is a wolf's tooth in this man's head. A wolf's tooth? Keep up, keep up, a wolf's it, tooth in his it head. It must be removed or else he'll be dead. I need a Jack Finney. Jack Finney. Come here, Jack Finney. I'm, Jack Finney. Finney. I'm not Mr. I'm not Jack Finney. I'm actually Mr. Mr. John Finney. <laughs> I'm out of great strength. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I once cured a magpie of toothache. And how did you cure a magpie of toothache, Jack? I ripped his head off. Oh, ripped his head off. <laughs> <That's laughs> <pretty good. laughs> but will you fetch my horse? Does your horse kick? Uh, no, Jack, my horse does not kick. And do your horse bite? No, Jack, my horse does not bite. So, does it take two to fetch it? No. But you don't need me, then. Jack, my horse. Oh, we need horses. Oh, we need horses. We need horses. Need horses. The idea is to put on the rope so the tooth comes out of his head. Remember the tooth? The sooner we do this, the sooner the play is over. You can get on with drinking and singing. <laughs> 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 right, right. Hold right. right. oh, okay. no. on. Well, there is a down to this. <laughs> Building a big society does take time. So, <laughs> after, <laughs> after the count of three, three, that's three. A one, a one, a two, a three. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I feel a little better now. The circle turns. Saint George is cured. Summer now will be assured. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my job is done. But now, Beelzebub steps on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Friendly old Beelzebub. Over my shoulder I carry my club. In my hand is my dripping pan. What do you think of I for a fine old man? Rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, now you've seen our mummers play, performed to, um, uh, I was going to say, perfection. That'll do, that'll do. The dripping pan is coming round, because we're having a collection. For charity, our play comes along. So chuck in your money, please, while we sing our song. <laughs> Thank you, happy Christmas.